Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Pound USD, GBP USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex analysis playlist on my channel for the analysis of other pairs. So let's get started. So this is the 4 hour chart of GBP USD in front of us. And as we all know, after the Fed's meeting, there is a sharp fall in the price of US dollar. We can clearly see that there is a sharp fall in the price of US dollar. And on the other hand, we have a sharp increase or sharp rise in the price of currency pairs like pound USD, euro USD. Because dollar is going down and on the other hand, pound is going up. And as a result, you can clearly see that how bullish the market is right now so let's do the analysis first so you can see that i have got three lines drawn here on the chart so let me explain the lines one by one so that you do not get confused and my dear friend i'll request you to draw these three lines so that you can understand the market better so get uh, so that you can also do the analysis from your own side so first and foremost i'll discuss about this line this red line you can see that i have drawn this line because this red line is acting as a dynamic support for the market as we all know whenever market goes up market never goes up or generally market never goes up in a straight line it always goes up in a zigzag pattern and if a market is falling then it comes down also in a zigzag pattern and whenever market comes down to take rest we get support and you can see that this trend line is providing the required support to the market or on the other hand this trend line is acting as a support for the market now you can clearly see that whenever market is coming down it is getting support from this trend line therefore we will consider this trend line as a dynamic support for the market so first and foremost please draw this line in your trading pattern secondly you can see that this dotted line i have already discussed about this line in my earlier videos but still i'll say that this line is important because this line belongs to the weekly chart if we go to the weekly chart of gbp usd you can see that let me remove the drawings first okay. so you can see that this level is acting as a support for the market for quite some time this is a weekly chart and each and every candle signifies one week and as we all know weekly chart belongs to the institutions the big boys the big players therefore it has a different significance it is extremely important therefore one thing is certain to us that this level on the market is extremely important for gbp usd therefore you need to draw a line here because in case there is a fall in the market or sudden selling pressure in the market then you know it pretty well that market has got high chance that market will get support at this level the weekly chart weekly support level So, this is the point number one. Mm -hmm. Wait. One and this is number two. Okay, number one is clear, number two is clear. And right now, you can see that I have got another level here 1.3900. So, this is the third important uh, level in the chart of GBP USD. Because as I always say in my videos that before executing any order, we should look for area of value. Area of value is nothing but the best trading opportunity. In an uptrend market, the area of value or the best buying opportunity is always near the support. Whereas in a downtrend market, the best trading opportunity is always near the resistance. And right now we can clearly see that this market is in heavy, heavy uptrend. Therefore, the best trading opportunity will always be near this support so we have first and foremost we have this trend line acting as support 
Then we have got this weekly level 1.3756 as a support, but this uh, weekly support is quite far away. But you can see that 1.3900, this level is quite near to the support here. Therefore, this level is extremely important. So previously, this level was acting as a resistance for the market. And as the buying pressure was so high, bulls crossed the level. And as we all know, in market, resistance always becomes support and support always becomes resistance. So we can hope that right now when market will be coming down first and foremost market will come down to this trend line in case the trend line fails to provide support then definitely market will get support from this level 1.3900 so what should be a strategy then strategy is simple okay wait for the opportunity right now this is not the ideal position to buy wait for some time wait for the market to come down a little bit so that you get the best opportunity because see if you buy here okay then your stop loss will be here no need to take risk this much wait for the market to come down so when market will hit the trend line here just observe the price if you see that just like previous times if market bounces from the trend line see market bounce from the trend line if you see market bouncing from the trend line go for a buy here immediately you can click on the buy button on the other hand if market fails to provide uh, take support at the trend line then you can hope that this line 1.3900 will provide the support to the market so these are the two best trading opportunities or buying opportunities in the chart of GBP USD right now. Market is coming down right now. Market wants to take rest. Wait for some time. Wait for a couple of hours. When market will bounce from here, just grab the opportunity. And most importantly, my dear friends, please follow proper risk management. Please follow proper risk management, which means do not risk more than 2 to 3% of your trading capital. Because my dear friends, as I always say, we do not decide the direction of the market. It's the institutions, big players, they decide the direction of the market. So our analysis may go wrong also. So please follow proper risk management. And if you look at the forex sentiment meter here, you will find the forex sentiment meter on my website, avilashhazarika.com under forex 101 section. You can see that retail traders 88% retail traders are still short which means that they are thinking that market will be going down and only 11% traders are long in this market. Just look at the trend of the market. In this heavy bullish market 88% retail traders have taken short position and this is the main reason why retail traders lose money because they always stand against the trend of the market so my dear friend please do not make the same mistake trade wisely trade with proper logic and trade with proper analysis this is a bullish market do not think about shorting the market otherwise you will be uh, falling into the same line as the retail traders this is a bullish market so only look for buying opportunities only okay so hopefully you have understood what you need to do so this is it Thank you so much. All the best. Take care. See you tomorrow again with the analysis for Monday. Bye-bye.